But on the market, you can go and buy separate cell balances. And this is what this device is. Now I'm just using it to demonstrate it's very handy because on this I can go and see the individual voltages of the cells that I've got connected. It does a discharge for you if you want to discharge cells or it's got a balancing function as well. But the handy thing here is I can go and see individual cell voltages and here we go. So it is showing around the 6 volts so for all intents and purposes if we weren't aware of the potential issues across individual cell levels we'd be happy because our battery bank would be at the right charge level. But if we go and have a look at the individual cell voltages, we can see that if our critical voltage or maximum voltage level for each cell was two volts, we're sitting with a problem because we are sitting with two which are over the voltage maximum and one which is setting below because they haven't been balanced. And that's a problem when you're charging cells in series in a battery bank, they're not going to equalize by themselves. And yet at some point in time, you're going to have a cell imbalance. Now this cell balancer, like a battery management system, has the, all these little wires which are coming off. There are four wires here to manage the three cells and those are all going off and are literally at the start, the end of the bank and then in between the individual cells to get the measurements. Now I'll just demonstrate how this little unit can go through a cell balancing exercise. We're now sitting in a situation where I've got the cell level higher on the middle cell and I should be able to start the balancing process. So this is a situation where a battery management system or the cell balancer or equalizer can bring things into line so that you don't have the situation where one's going to be at a, at a higher level than it should be. So simply push the balance button and the balance you can see a little balance emblem flashing on and off and then it's showing that it's actually using energy on the ones with the two higher ones. So it's dissipating energy from the two higher cell levels to bring them down to the one with the lower level. So you'll note the balance mode and the equalization is working but we've got a little bit of a challenge here. We've got a bit of a moving target because these are capacitors which obviously self dissipate their voltage. They don't hold their voltage well like a normal cell would. So this cell has been slowly moving down and these two are chasing it to try and equalize. And as you can see when this one equalizes we can see the actual balancing function switches off. But if there's a change or if this is sitting slightly higher then that balance function comes back in and this top one is still trying to chase it. So we'll see if this voltage can equalize before it gets too low and the balance function is disabled. There we go, at last all the cells have reached a state of equilibrium and they've all balanced at the right voltage level. Now in that example I showed you how you're going to balance the cells, but a good battery management system will both cater for looking after and balancing the cells once they're being charged and they're being discharged. 